the distinguished delegate of Brunei to make a statement. Madam President and Your Excellencies, I'd like to offer my congratulations to our President on our election. In doing so, I assure all our fellow members of Brunei Darussalam's continued strong support for the United Nations. Despite what some people may say about its effectiveness, the United Nations has no equal, and the 71 years of existence is a testament to its relevance. With a membership of 193, the expectation is inevitably high on what our organization can do to address ever-increasing range of issues. So I'm pleased that our new development agenda has encapsulated most, if not all, of these concerns. The Sustainable Development Goals build on the success of the Millennium Development Goals and aim to go further to end all forms of poverty. The new goals are unique in that they call for action by all countries, poor, rich, and middle income, to promote prosperity while protecting the planet. They recognize that ending poverty must go hand in hand with strategies that build economic growth and addresses a range of social needs, including education, health, social protection, and job opportunities, while tackling climate change and environmental protection. Brunei Darussalam firmly believes that tolerance, compassion, and social harmony are essential for lasting peace and security. This has resulted in the close-knit community we have and enjoy today. So preventive diplomacy is a cost-effective means of addressing conflict and certainly an integral part of conflict prevention efforts. I'm of the view that we must announce our political will, mutual assistance, cooperation under the banner of United Nations in order to collectively address the challenges facing us. When it is time for this assembly to decide, we in Brunei Darussalam, we will be considering any motion in this light. Thank you.